back to my garden. Hi everybody, welcome back to Rosalie's garden. We are on part two of our mid-century modern atrium makeover. We were here a couple days ago working on these two garden beds inside their home. They are looking so gorgeous. I knocked on the door when I came this morning and just took a peek inside and it looks, it looks absolutely incredible. We are adding a couple more plants. I have some peace lilies for the big bed over to my left. We are adding drip irrigation today and then we are also adding like a rock mulch cover, right? Yeah. And show everybody your gloves so you're ready to go. So Rosalie's gonna be my assistant today. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get working. We're gonna put some irrigation in, yeah, right? Irrigation. Yeah. So we added three peace lilies over here. And we moved the rubber plant over here. Yep, we moved the rubber plant over there, which I think looks really, really good. And now the peace lilies tie into the peace lilies over here on this side. So I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely what is it? Oh, it's very messy. So we have to clean up. And you guys are having a party later today, right? Yeah. yeah. Rosalie's dad's work, he's having a work party here today. So we're kind of on a time crunch and we wanna make sure that we get everything cleaned up and done before the party. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay. You are making this so much easier for me. <laughs> well, I didn't do it yeah, you're doing a good job and you'll always remember that you helped out I, with this I, garden. I feel like you Okay, so Jessica already has three quarter inch tubing in both of these garden beds. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking quarter inch tubing, I'm connecting the quarter inch tubing with single couplers. Let me show you guys. Right here, I'm just gonna poke those into the three quarter inch tubing, and then I'm going to put half gallon per hour drip emitters onto each plant. We're gonna start with that because I think that I'm gonna set their timer to just go once a week. Of course, I'm gonna have to come back and I'm gonna have to check and see if that timing is correct once a week, maybe for like 20 minutes or something like that. Um, so I will kind of just keep checking in to see if the drip is set in the right, um, the right amount. And that's kind of how drip is, is you make your best guess, you hook everything up for your best guess inside or outside, um, and then you just have to keep checking to make sure that the plants are getting enough water or not too much water. Rosalie got a rainbow popsicle. Show everyone your rainbow popsicle. <laughs> and I would like one later, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, editing Janie here. As I was editing this video, I realized you all really could not see anything that I was doing. And I think that is because these plants were so well established and mature and grown in, it was really hard to see anything. So what I was doing here is I was hooking up the drip irrigation. I was really lucky because when Jessica and her family had the renovation done, they installed drip irrigation underneath the walkway in between 
between the two garden beds. So the three quarter inch big drip tubing was already there and all I had to do was come in, add the quarter inch tubing and add the emitters to each plant. I put one to each plant, just making sure that everything was getting water. It would have been better, I think, if I had inline emitter tubing, but I didn't have any on me. I think that this will work perfectly, especially because we only wanna water these beds about once a week. After I was done with all of the drip, Rosalie and I started in on the rock mulch. Yes, that sweet little girl was helping me out with absolutely everything with this project. She is such a hard worker and she deserves another popsicle, at least one more. So we did the heavy hard work of carrying that rock inside and putting it in that garden bed. And with each bucket full or shovel full we did of the rock, it just started looking better and better. And I could see the whole garden bed kind of coming together. We wanted to use rock mulch just to keep the dirt level down. I mean, can you imagine if we used regular mulch in this garden bed, the mulch would be tracked around everywhere. I think the rock mulch was absolutely the way to go. All right, everyone, we are done. We, well, almost done. We've got all the rocks in, all the irrigation hooked up, the plants kind of moved around. It looks so beautiful. I don't think I'm doing a good job filming it today just because we were kind of in a rush trying to get it done before Jessica and her family's party this afternoon. Um, so they still have to come in with a hose and they're gonna rinse all the dust off of the rocks. So it's gonna look a little bit different. Here is my assistant. It's gonna look a little bit different, but let me give you guys a closer look. Okay, so here is this side. I love the side with the rocks. I think it looks so good. We went and we poured some water on the rocks here and here so we could see what it looks like when all the dust is taken off. And I think it's the perfect color for the spot. I think that they picked out the exact perfect rock. I think this is one and a half inch river rock is what they ended up picking out. Um, the other stuff we were looking at was kind of jagged and sharp and we figured that that wasn't a good idea for indoors just in case anybody with bare feet steps on it. So I think it looks absolutely perfect. We added one, two, three peace lilies. That one definitely needs to be watered, but they will get to that. Look at the light that is there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then over here on this side, you can see the little herb garden is so cute with, with the three peace lilies. And then you can see we got the trellis in and we got the jasmine coming up on the trellis. So I still gotta clean up my mess out there, but overall, this indoor atrium project is done. All right, so I hope this was fun for you guys to see. It was a really fun project for Rosalie and I to do together. And Rosalie has something she wants to say to you. Bye, I hope you enjoyed being a garden today. <laughs> Bye guys.